um, I hope you're well and having an awesome day today. So I know I said in my kind of life and channel updates video last week that I would be doing a haul video today and obviously as you can tell from the title of the video it's kind of a haul video but not exactly the one I promised. Um, I realised when I went to film this that some of the stuff that I wanted to show you guys was either in the wash or I just actually don't know what I've done with it. I probably left it at somebody else's house or something. I don't know. I just can't find some of the stuff that I wanted to show you guys. But I realised that I was only kind of doing the haul video to show you guys the two things that I picked up in Disneyland Paris um, at the end of June. And I realised that those two things are actually pins. I only bought two pins whilst I was there. Um, that's really all I bought. And I thought, I haven't actually did an updated pin video for you guys. I did a pin video quite a while ago. I will link to it if you haven't seen it. Showing you guys all the pins that I have kind of bought over the last only, I have no idea how many years. Um, I've got pins that date back from like 2004 um, when this crazy pin obsession started. Um, but since then I've gathered a few more since making that video, quite a few more. Um, so I thought I would show you guys them today because um, I know a lot of you guys like myself love to collect pins, love to see different collections. I absolutely love looking at people's pins. I love knowing what pins people bring back from like um, Disney and what pins people buy from like Disney store. Um, there are a few Disney store bought ones um, that I will show you. There are a few ones that I've just bought. Most are from Disneyland Paris. Um, I will tell you guys along the way where they're from and stuff. And some of them were actually traded as well. So um, yeah, I thought I would do that um, so that I could show you guys the two pins that I brought back from Disneyland Paris in our June, in our June trip. Obviously you guys will have seen these pins um, if you do watch my hauls. Um, yeah, I thought I would update you guys and do an updated version of that because I feel like that video was probably from last year. I feel like it was. Um, so yeah, here it goes. Here's the pins I've collected since then. So I hope you guys enjoy and here we go. Okay, so we'll start off with the two pins that I bought when I was in Disneyland Paris um, at the end of June. So those two pins are this super cool Lightning McQueen pin that I managed to pick up. This just came out, I believe, either May or June of this year. Um, it's not limited edition or anything like that, but I thought it was pretty cool um, to see them actually bringing out some pins when Cars 3 had just come out. Um, many of you might not know, but Cars is actually one of my favourite franchises. I know, I know, it's a bit of a... Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a subject between Disney fans about people who don't like it and who do like it, but I absolutely love Cars. Um, and yeah, I was super happy that they brought out this pin because I don't own any Cars pins, so it was really cool to kind of get this one. The other pin I picked up was this Duffy and Shelly Me pin. It is the cutest pin on the entire planet. I thought this was actually limited edition as well. It came out around the same time as the Cars pin, um, but it's actually not. So hopefully if you want it and you're going to Disneyland Paris soon, you can pick it up. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cute. Um, I kind of wish that like Gelatoni and Stella Lee were on it as well, but um, to just have the two bears is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this and so happy that I managed to pick it up. Next up is actually the year pin that I have for 2017. Um, I managed to pick this up and I believe it was March because I don't think I could see it in January. Um, this is a kind of spinny pin. Obviously it spins um, when you take it out of the bag. But um, it's got Goofy, Pluto, Sorcerer Mickey, Minnie and Donald Duck on it and it just says 2017. Um, it's really really cute, I absolutely love it and I, what I love about it is I've got one from Walt Disney World from like 2008 so it's kind of similar. So I knew I had to get this one too and it's so cute and sparkly which is awesome. Next up are some Halloween pins from Disneyland Paris uh, last year. Um, so they are this awesome Minnie Mouse as a witch pin and Figaro with a cat and a pumpkin. This is really really cool the fact you got two pins basically um, for the price of one. Uh, the fact you got kind of two pins for the price of one was really really awesome um, and I just absolutely love this little Figaro pin. You don't really see many pins of him so the fact that he came with like this super cool mini pin and in a little pumpkin is absolutely adorable. I just love this so much. Next up is this kind of <laughs> generic Mickey Mouse as a ghost pin. Um, you kind of see this mostly every year at Halloween 
but I just couldn't resist it. It was too dang ad adorable to leave behind, so I had to pick him up too. Next up is a pin that I got for Christmas last year um, from my lovely friend Jenna. It is this really adorable Christmas pin with Tinkerbell wearing a little Santa hat and obviously like our little fur trimming. Um, and it says, I wrapped your gift in pixie dust. It's also got like this kind of little, um, like as if you could hang it kind of thing, like a little ribbon, as if it's meant to be like a decoration, which is really strange. I've never really seen that on pins before, um, but it's super cute and I absolutely love it. I don't really have many Christmas pins, so yeah, that was really nice of her. So next up is my very first Disney hotel pin. That is the Disneyland Paris Santa Fe Hotel. This is the first Disney hotel I've ever stayed in and this is currently the pin you can get um, like if you really want a pin or something to commemorate your stay there so it's obviously got mickey and his little kind of sombrero um it says santa fe and it's got like a kind of key to the hotel um so i thought this was really really cute and i kind of just wanted something for um my first stay in a disney hotel so i absolutely love this and obviously you've got you've got them for all the disneyland paris hotels and i believe they do them kind of everywhere for um the disney hotels around the world so yeah, it's really, really cute. And they all have different characters on them depending on what hotel you stay at. Next are my two 25th anniversary pins. Obviously, if you may know, obviously as you may already know, Disneyland Paris is celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. So I had to get some pins to commemorate it. Um, so the first one is this little mini Mouse one. Um, it says 25 in the star. It's got the castle in the background. It says Disneyland Paris on the bottom. And this is Minnie in her sort of new parade outfit. Um, for Disney stars on parades. <laughs> it kind of annoys me because it's not really like you can buy these ears um, with the bow and stuff like that uh, in the parks but she doesn't actually wear a bow on the parade. It's more of like a sort of hat I think so um, I don't really know what they were thinking there but it's super cute and I had to have it so um, next up is also this little Mickey and Minnie one. These are actually statues that are in the um, like central hub right in front of the castle. Um, you've got Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Tinkerbell, Pluto and Goofy. So this is the Mickey and Minnie one um, and I just think it's really really cute. It's got the colour theme of the anniversary which I love because not a lot of things do unfortunately but yeah I love this and had to pick it up. Next up are just some kind of um, odd pins I've picked up throughout the last kind of few months of going to Disneyland Paris. Um, one of them was this Scrooge McDuck pin. Um, you don't really see a lot of him, um, I don't think, on pins. So when Disneyland Paris released this, I kind of had to get him. So I'm super glad that I picked him up because you don't really see a lot of merchandise of him. So it was nice to kind of actually get this. Another one I've picked up is this Zootopia pin. Um, obviously Zootropolis or Zootopia, depending or on where you're from, US, UK. Obviously it's got lots of different names, um, but this is obviously the French name for it. So it's just Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I went through a stage, I think, just before I bought this, of watching Zootopia um, pretty much every night. So yeah, I had to buy this. It's so cute. And I just love the movie so much. Another pin I had to pick up was this Beauty and the Beast pin. Um, it's just Belle and Beast and I had to have it. <laughs> you all know that Belle is my girl. I absolutely love Beauty and the Beast. I don't really have a lot of their pins um, so I had to get this. Um, this was part of a range that actually came out in Disneyland Paris. Um, is it the start of the year? Kind of more towards the start of the year. Um, I can't really remember when these came out. But um, they had like loads of different characters which was really really cool but by the time I got to my next trip they kind of all sold out so I could only really find this one so I had to pick it up. Next up is a Season of the Force pin which was Disneyland Paris's Star Wars um, kind of events. Um, it, this is still kind of going on right now, um, part of it is anyway. Um, so obviously there was a nighttime projection show um, onto the Tower of Terror in the Walt Disney Studios Park and this was just a kind of pin to commemorate it and because we got to because we were lucky enough to actually visit during Season of the Force I had to pick this pin up plus it is so awesome with all the characters on like Tower of Terror I just think it's really really cool um, and Season of the Force is still kind of going on at Disneyland Paris, like I said, but um, this nighttime show has now finished, unfortunately. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to pick it up just to kind of remember it by. Mm. So next up is uh, this Moana pin, or v Viana, I think it's called in France. Um, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that and butchering it. Um, my French isn't very good. 
Um, but I got this pin because it basically has quite a lot of the characters on it. So it's got Pua, Moana, Maui and Hehe. Um, so to have them all in the one pin was really, really cool rather than having to buy a few different ones. And I just absolutely love it. The size of it is huge. Um, like obviously you can tell by Maui's hook. Um, and I just absolutely love this little backboard that it's on because it's all kind of like Polynesian-y. Um, and I absolutely love this. So yeah, look, look, look at the detail. Like, look at all these tattoos and stuff. It's so cool. Um, so yeah, I had to pick this up. Um, but I don't think you can get this anymore, unfortunately. Um, if you do, it's probably potluck because this did come out a while ago. So another random pin that I kind of have is this up pin. I have been looking at this for months and months and months before I actually picked it up. But I just think it's the cutest thing ever. Obviously, it's the little house from up. And these little beads are meant to be like the kind of balloons. And I just think it's super adorable. Um, so I don't know why I didn't pick it up the first time I seen it. But I'm super glad that it's kind of still around. So you'll probably manage to get it if you're ever going to Disneyland Paris or Disney Parks. Because it's just a Disney Parks generic one. Um, so yeah, I kind of absolutely love this. It's just so cute and so different. Um, and yeah. So the next two pins are actually Disney Store pins. Um, so a while ago, just at the end of May I want to say. Yeah, just at the end of May, I was lucky enough to head over to Rome with some of my family and obviously I had to figure out where the Disney store was and I found this beautiful pin and I had to pick it up. So it says Rome, the Colosseum, which is obviously in the background, says meet me in Italy and it's got Mickey and Minnie being all touristy um, at the Colosseum. So I just absolutely love this. Um, it's so cute and I couldn't pass it up when I seen it. Another one that I have from the Disney store is a just one that I bought off the website. And that is this 25th anniversary Beauty and the Beast pin. Um, obviously this came out for the 25th anniversary of Beauty and the Beast. And it is the Be Our Guest scene with Lemire and Cogsworth. And it is so detailed, so beautiful. I absolutely am obsessed with this pin. Obviously it is limited edition. Um, so I don't think you can get it anymore unless you tried like eBay and stuff like that for anybody selling. Um, but I had to get my hands on this as soon as it came out. So I'm super lucky to have it and I absolutely obsess with it. So yeah, just look at that detail. It's so cute. Okay, so last but not least are actually pins I have traded for um, since my last video that I showed you guys. Um, I bought some pins in Disneyland Paris and decided I didn't really want them. Um, so I ended up trading them in Harrington's, I believe, on Main Street. Um, there are two places in Disneyland Paris where you can go to officially trade pins. Um, and they're on like boards and stuff like that with a cast member. Obviously you can go around the parks trading anyway with like guests and cast members alike. But these were the ones that I got in Harrington's on the big board that they do. Um, so one of the first ones I got was this little Pinocchio hat. Look how cute that is. So I, I swapped this one and I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I love Pinocchio, um, I grew up watching it religiously um, and it's a big part of my childhood so when I seen this I knew I had to swap for it. It's so cute, obviously I think this is like a kind of um, range that they do, they do like character hats um, as pins so um, I know that there is a few more kind of like this, obviously like Peter Pan hat and stuff like that, Goofy's hat so yeah um, if you kind of like that style then obviously this is a little Pinocchio one. So another one I actually picked up was the cutest pen I've ever seen, and it's essentially why I had to like trade. And it is this little Duffy pen. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. He's got Peter Pan's hat on. I know this is a kind of range as well. This is a hidden Mickey one as well, if you can see that there. Um, and it's Duffy with um character hats on. Um, so I think this there's one with like. Um, Goofy's hat and Donald's hat and that kind of stuff so this is the one with Peter Pan's hat which is really really cute um, and just kind of fitting considering how many times I actually meet Peter um, on a triply basis so yeah I had to pick this up which is so it's so cute. Next up is this adorable little orange bird pin. I won't bore you with the details of the orange bird history if you don't know about it I'm sure someone's explained it in a video or you can just google it. It's really really not that hard. Um, but he's got a little Mickey hat on and obviously it's just adorable. I absolutely love it and this is my first orange bird pin. I hope to get more. Um, but yeah, so cute. And last but not least is this last trading pin that I got. 
and it is a Mickey Mouse pin and he's got a Disney Pins trading lanyard on which is very fitting to end this video with. Um, he, I believe, the cast member did tell me that he was a Disneyland Paris exclusive. So um, it says that on the, it says Disneyland Paris on the back. Um, so he is quite old, obviously as you can see from the back of him he's not got the shiny Mickeys on the back. Um, and yeah, I just absolutely obsessed with him. He's so cute and I'm so glad I managed to snag him up. So that is it guys. That is all the pins that I have collected from last year since you would have watched the other pin collecting video. Um, and yeah, I obviously clearly have such an obsession with pins. As you can see, I don't really kind of stick to one theme of pins. I just like certain pins and when I see a pin that I like, I just kind of buy it. Um, let me know down in the comments below which pin you loved from this set um, and make sure you check out the last video to see um, the other pins that I have in my collection as well um, and tell me what your guys' favourite pins is. Do you collect pins? Do you have a certain collection that you like to keep? Um, let me know um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Make sure you're subscribed as well because the June Disneyland Paris vlogs will be starting next week. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys them. I haven't even looked at the footage yet, but I'm excited. So, um, yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you real soon. Bye.